Here we go again. Marcus Rashford could reportedly leave Manchester United this summer. The Times have claimed that the Red Devils would consider selling the forward. The report suggests that Rashford would have to push for an exit. PSG have been credited with an interest in the past. Meanwhile, Manchester United target Serho Guirassi is interested in joining another club. The striker has a release clause of just 15 millions of pounds, despite his prolific season in Germany. Sky have reported that he would be open to joining Borussia Dortmund this summer. Elsewhere, Manchester United are stepping up their chase for a new striker this summer, and have already had an answer back as they look to land one of their targets. So, Hodgland needs support. Signed by Eric Ten Hag last summer, Rasmus Hodgland enjoyed a mixed first season at Old Trafford. The Dane enjoyed a purple patch in the middle of the campaign, but suffered poor runs either side, with nine of his 12 Premier League goal contributions coming in a seven-week stint between December and February. Still just 21 years old, he was often asked to plow a lonely furrow, but showed plenty of promise. However, he is now the only recognized striker on the Manchester United books, after Anthony Marshall confirmed his departure as a free agent this summer. It has left the Red Devils in need of a new striker, and they were dealt a blow on that front when target Benjamin Sesko signed a new deal to keep him at RB this summer, scuppering any hopes of luring him to Old Trafford. As a result, they have been forced to look elsewhere, and with new owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe keen to avoid past mistakes, they are on the hunt for a younger player who can share the role with Hodgland and who will offer fewer fitness issues than Marshall, all while demanding a reasonable salary. So, United handed answer over 21-year-old. That comes as Sports Build have revealed, via Sport Witness, that United are one of the sides keen on 21-year-old attacker Maximilian Bayer, who is also thought to be attracting attention from Bayer Leverkusen and Liverpool. The Hoffenheim youngster enjoyed a breakout campaign, scoring 16 times in 33 outings across the German top flight last season, and was rewarded with a call-up to the German national side, making his debut in the most recent round of June internationals and doing enough to earn a spot in the squad for the upcoming Euro 2024 in his home country. Hoffenheim's sporting director, Alexander Rosen, has heavily praised the youngster, claiming that Maxi Bayer is a super guy and an extremely talented striker. He is incredibly fast, dangerous, and can kick really well. And United have made the first move for his signature this summer, it has been claimed, with the Red Devils asking Hoffenheim what terms would be required to sign the rising star. And they already have a response too, with Hoffenheim reportedly pointing to his 32.5 millions of euro which is equated of 27.4 millions of pounds release clause as a guide price to snatch him away this summer. He will be cheaper next summer, with said clause believed to drop by 2.5 millions of euros every summer across the three remaining years of his 16,000 of pounds per week deal with the German outfit. As with summer tournaments, a strong performance at Euro 2024 could see a rush of clubs join the queue for his signature, which may leave United wanting to get a deal done sooner rather than later, if they are serious about their interest. On the other side, there are United players shocked by Ten Hag staying. Several Manchester United players were said to be shocked by the announcement that Eric Ten Hag would be staying on as Man United manager, according to The Telegraph. Players did not have prior knowledge of the announcement and found out when it was publicly announced on Tuesday. Ten Hag is expected to sign a contract extension soon. Meanwhile, the Daily Mail report that fans had a part to play in Eric Ten Hag staying on as Manchester United manager. United were believed to have reached out to other candidates to replace the Dutchman at the helm. But many fans, buoyed by last month's FA Cup victory, believed it would be harsh to replace Ten Hag, and it is fan opinion that partly kept Ten Hag in his role. In other news, Manchester United have begun talks with Eric Ten Hag over transfer strategies, with the coach set to stay on at Old Trafford, sources have confirmed to Team Talk. A few days ago, Man United begun talking with Ten Hag about their summer transfer plans, in a sign that the Dutchman would stay on in his role as manager before the news broke late on Tuesday night. Man Utted have even decided to enter talks with Ten Hag about a new contract, 
despite months of speculation about both his future and the future of many first-team players. Ten Hag has been able to communicate where the team most needs strengthening, and he has zeroed in on a pair of French defenders as his first-choice targets. However, after informing him that he will be the coach of United again next season, Ineos have been clear that there must be a leap in quality in the first games of next season. Jean-Claer Todibo remains among the top targets. United will look to take advantage of Ineos's ownership of Todibo's current club, Nice, and Team Talk can reveal they are planning to make a new attempt for the France star. Todibo has also received interest from United's rivals Liverpool, though Arne Slot's side prefer other defenders such as Eintracht Frankfurt's William Pacho and Sporting Lisbon star Goncalo Inazio. So, the latter, Inazio, is also on Ten Hag's shortlist, though Liverpool are better positioned to sign him, having held talks with his entourage over the last few months. Todibo, meanwhile, has done an excellent job of improving his reputation at Nice following a failed spell at Barcelona, and Ten Hag believes that he would make an ideal signing for a team that needs experienced defenders who are in their prime. It will also be worth keeping an eye on another name held in high esteem by both United and Ten Hag, Todibo's compatriot, Lenny Yoro. The competition for Yoro is fierce, especially from Real Madrid, who have included him among their ideal targets to replace Nacho. Despite Madrid's pursuit, Team Talk can reveal that United are set to make a concrete approach to sign Yoro, with Ten Hag asking for two new first-team-ready centre-backs. United looks set to extend the contract of veteran defender Johnny Evans, but this is likely more for him to act as a mentor to the younger defenders in the squad. On the other side, Greenwood agrees Man United exit. Mason Greenwood has agreed a deal to sign for Juventus, according to reports. The 22-year-old spent last season on loan at Getafe. He impressed in his first season since returning to football after not playing for 20 months. Greenwood scored 10 goals and assisted 6 in 36 games for Getafe, with the Spanish club keen on keeping him. But Manchester United have supposedly slapped a 40 millions of pounds price tag on him, amid interest from top sides like Napoli, Barcelona, and Borussia Dortmund. And it's Juventus, who are now reportedly leading the race to sign him this summer. Meanwhile, according to French outlet Le Ten Sport, Manchester United are launching a move to sign Monaco midfielder Yusuf Fofana. The Red Devils are in the transfer market for a new defensive midfielder, and it appears they are considering an approach for Fofana. Le Ten Sport claimed that the Frenchman is prepared to take a step forward in his career, and he has an affection for the Premier League. This has put Man United in the front seat to sign him ahead of Juventus and AC Milan. Eric Ten Hag's side are strongly positioned to secure his services. Fofana has made the decision to move on from Monaco, where his contract expires in the summer of 2025. Fofana is a hard-working defensive midfielder who is impressed with his supreme work rate and ball recoveries. United may see him as a potential successor to Casemiro, who regressed during his second season at the club. The Brazilian star looked a shadow of himself, and he was prone to losing possession. It is unclear whether the hierarchy will sell him, but they may want to add competition for places with the signing of Fofana from Monaco this summer. Sofian Amrabat was signed on loan at the start of last season to compete with Casemiro, but the Moroccan ace failed to live up to the expectations. He struggled to adapt to the league's intensity and only found his feet in the final four weeks. There is a buy clause in the midfielder's contract, but as things stand, he is likely to return to his parent club Fiorentina next month. United could consider spending the fee on a younger player in Fofana, who has strong defensive attributes. Apart from his recovery pace, Fofana does not shy away from making crunch tackles. He is also good in getting out of tight spaces with his dribbling skills. He could be signed for a bargain fee of 26 millions of pounds when the transfer window reopens.